Yo guys, welcome back. I have exciting news. We are going to try to get to 100 vlogs this year. So welcome to vlog number one of our 100 vlog series. This one is going to be all about new routines and just building routine. And I'll take you through a bit of my routine, even though it hasn't been like a crazy good routine yet. I feel like I'm definitely out of routine, but I feel like I'm actually pretty good at building routines. And like when I want to do something, I'm very fucking good at just doing it and getting it done and being like, okay, this is going to be a new part of my routine. So I thought I'd share some tips with you guys. Yeah. So guys, since we're doing a hundred vlogs, that means we need a hundred fucking ideas of shit that you guys want to see. So let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in the series. Um, and subscribe if you want to watch them all or subscribe anyways, because why wouldn't you? Um, yeah, let's go. Okay. So all you girlies that have been in a bit of a slump for the past couple years, maybe COVID hit you really fucking hard. You know, you were <laughs> obviously like all of us just ate a bunch of fucking food because why wouldn't you? Um, what else did we have to do? And now you're like, okay, it's 2024. I haven't got into my routine. What am I actually doing? So my best tip for doing something like this, like getting out of the slump, getting out of what you've been in the past couple of years, is definitely just taking it slow. So pick one fucking thing. Like don't go into it and be like, oh my God, I'm going to change my health today. I'm going to do everything that I can. I'm going to get up early. I'm going to have a good breakfast. I'm going to have a good lunch. I'm going to have a good dinner and I'm going to go to the gym. And I'm gonna, like, that is way too much for our little tiny brains. You guys, like we're not that good at shit. <laughs> so what you need to do is pick one thing or pick one thing to focus on. Say you're like, okay, you know what I really want to focus on? Getting up earlier. So you get up like 10 minutes earlier than you did the day before. Or, I mean, you could just get up at the time that you actually want to get up. That would be hard, but like just working on one thing, one habit, one thing that you want in your routine is going to like get that part of your life kickstarted basically once you have that down then you can move on to something else like okay well now that i'm getting up earlier i have so much more time in the morning i can actually walk for like 10 minutes 20 minutes whatever it is honestly you just have to start small and like build from there so pick something pick one thing that you really want to work on um for me, it's definitely getting up earlier right now. I feel like I've been sleeping in because, ah, oh, you guys, winter hits hard. Like, I feel like winter is just like, you know, it's dark in the morning. You don't really want to get up without the sun. So it's like, it's hard to get up. But honestly, I miss my mornings when it's like 5 a.m. and there's nobody awake and you're just like vibing by yourself. You can get so much shit done. Yeah, that's literally my probably my biggest tip and probably the one that helped me build my routine the most was like focus on one thing don't focus on 10 pick one thing you guys what are we not turning on the fans for my hair babe <laughs> i'm kidding so guys we just finished at the gym i did chest and triceps james thinks that i can stretch and talk at the same time i'm not that skilled you guys <laughs> so um, <laughs> you should turn the camera around to you <laughs> babe <laughs> you gotta get a mic if you're gonna do that um okay so we just finished at the gym chest shoulders and triceps Number two, tip number two is write a list of things that you actually want in your routine. Like, what do you actually want? Do you want to stretch more? Do you want to go to the gym more? Do you want to drink more water? Do you want to eat healthier? Do you want to, I don't know, what else? Do you want to walk more? Do you want to be like, have a healthier meal? Do you want to be, do you want to be rich as shit? Do you want to make a lot of money? That just means that like, you actually have these goals written down. It's like this science. I've, I've heard it on so many different podcasts that when you write stuff down, you're more inclined to do that shit. So write it down and then go back to step one and only pick one thing to work on. So if you want to be healthier, if you want to um, drink more water, like, and then 
it's all about breaking it down into different steps. So like, you wanna drink more water? Okay, what's step one? Probably put a glass of water beside your bed or something so you can drink it right in the morning. Like, it's all about just breaking it down into smaller steps and making it way easier on yourself, you know? But yeah, guys, now, like one thing that I really wanna get into my routine is actually stretching, like every time that I work out. So let's do it. Now I can stretch because I ran it. <laughs> Guys, we are just going to get groceries and then, yeah, we'll see what we're up to. Healthy decisions. Make groceries part of your routine, habits, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So, um, shit, I forgot because you asked me. <laughs> oh, okay, so. Tip number three is just to make a plan. So if you're like, okay, I want to start getting groceries more often or like I want to eat healthy. If that's one of the things that you want to do, be like, okay, so write a grocery list or figure out your week to say like, okay, when is the best day for me to go get groceries so that you can actually stick to what you want to do. If you don't make a plan, it's probably not going to happen. So like, even if you were like, oh, I want to walk like more often, find a time when you're like, okay, I want to walk three times a week. What are those three days that I can make work for myself and stick to it, you know, like stick to your plan. So when you have a plan, I feel like it just really makes it simple and it's just like thinking ahead for yourself. So I feel like we're just people that like, we're so fucking lazy, you guys. And if you can actually make a plan for yourself, but also make it easy for yourself. So if you're like, I'm already at work, so all I have to do is drive five minutes to the gym, get it over with, like do my walk, do my workout, whatever, and then go home and it's done. Like that's making it easy for yourself. And you're probably, well, you're more likely to do it if it's easy. So, cause we're just lazy, you guys. Like people, you kind of have to accept that people are just lazy. So yeah. Oh, great idea. Actually, I did this when I was waking up really early. Okay, if you're like, I want to get up early and I want to go do, I don't know, a workout, whatever. Take out your workout clothes. Like whatever the fuck your outfit is, it's probably going to be lifted because it should be lifted. If it isn't, you should buy some lifted stuff. Um, but no, like just lay it out like on your bed or I guess not on your bed, but like on a chair or like in the bathroom or whatever. So when you get up, it's like you literally don't have to think, like you throw the clothes on and you go to the gym. It's like easy, guys. Make it really fucking easy. We just got back from groceries, by the way. Uh, it's all the same stuff, you guys. I, I guess this is different key. For all the girls that have been like, got like I wanna start eating more tofu or I wanna eat like more vegan stuff, actually, the amount of messages that I've gotten from girls that are like, I wanna eat more vegan stuff or I like tofu, I'm amazed, you guys. Like, it's so cool. Um, but this smoked tofu is like, this is what got me started on tofu because it's really fucking easy to cook. Like, it's already smoked, so it's already got a flavor. Um, and it's really just 
you kind of just heat it up. I like put it in sandwiches. You could put it on a salad, I guess. There's a picture of a salad. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good if you're like trying to get used to tofu. What else do we get? Just everything. Dumplings, vegan dumplings, bread, ice cream. Um, I've been loving this in sandwiches. It's tempeh bacon. Um, tempeh is really high protein as well. Just been switching up the meals lately. I'm gonna put these away and then we have a lot to edit and a lot to do and I'll catch you guys later for the next tip. Oh, I'm gonna eat sandwiches for lunch. So I'm gonna throw this and this on a pan and then um, I'll show you guys the end result. It's a high protein sandwich. It's always a high protein sandwich. Um, yeah, I only make high protein meals, you guys, because we need protein, obviously. Oh, and I have these like drinks. Shout out to Jen. She got me these energy drinks from Costco. I've never had them, um, but they actually look bomb and they're no sugar. Um, this one is Frosé Rosé. Cool. <laughs> Grape. Should we try one right now? I want to try. Oh, peach mango. Honestly, peach mango is like anything tropical. My vibe. I will drink it. Let's try it. I think this is supposed to be like a healthy energy. Oh, that's not a good idea. Mango. Peach mango. Ooh, uh, that's actually kind of my vibe. I don't know if I'm sharing. <laughs> Yum. Yeah, that's good. Whoa, I feel like that's not as sweet as normal energy drinks. So that's kind of like, it just tastes like flavored water or something that you get. It's not too sweet. It's, it tastes like a vitamin water, but fizzy, which is like my vibe. Like that's what I would, that's, this is cool. Yum. <laughs> What is it called? Joy Burst. Do you want to try? Yeah. Hmm. Welcome to dinner, you guys. Um, I feel like vlogging every day has made me seem like a really boring person because I eat the same stuff and I do the same stuff, but honestly, I'm pretty happy with it. So we're making curry with um, pasta. Do you want to see? Yum. Ah, oh, yum, that looks so good. Okay, the next one, you guys is consistency what are we on number four consistency so honestly when you're building a routine you need to stay consistent like if you're like 
Okay, what have we used for examples? Drinking more water. If you're trying to drink more water and you're like, I don't know, you put the water beside your bed and you wake up and you know, you drink the water beside your bed, whatever. Doing that every single day, you guys. You're trying to build a routine. You have to like remind yourself that like, you don't wanna skip a day. I mean, it's fine if you do, but it's like when you're trying to build a routine, like you need to be kind of hard on yourself and be like, okay, like I did it today. Like I'm gonna fucking do it tomorrow, you know? Um, and just building that consistency is just gonna build the routine and you're gonna like literally build a new habit. So stay consistent. It's just like anyone says like, how do you get results in the gym? It's like, guys, consistency. Like it's never about motivation. I feel like so many people talk about motivation and shit and like, oh, I'm so motivated to like, you know, build this new routine or whatever. It's like, ugh, guys, no. Don't even say that. <laughs> I mean, you can, whatever. But like, it's so important to just stay consistent and like be hard on yourself. And like, you know, self-discipline is such an important thing when you're like trying to build a routine. So that's number four. I am gonna drink some water. Then we're gonna go on to number five because I think number five is the most important one. Um, in my head, so give me a second, I need to find my water. We found the water. Okay, let's talk about number five because I feel like this is one that people forget. I think you need to be easy on yourself when you're trying to build a routine. I think that if you're really hard on yourself, you just like turn yourself off of everything good that you've just done. So it's like, okay, say you have started to drink a lot of water lately. You have started, you are like drinking water in the morning, you're drinking water in the afternoon. Like your routine and habits around water are fucking prime. But then one day you just don't drink a lot of water and then you get really like fucking down on yourself and you get really hard on yourself and it's like that is what turns you away from like building the habit because then you're like oh like you're in such a rut then because you're like oh I miss one day like I'm never gonna get back on track and oh, that's just not true like you need to be like you know what today was a busy day I obviously failed myself and whatever and then get the fuck over it and do it tomorrow you guys like don't just like completely um, bag on yourself for like one little thing, you know, you just restart. What's another example of that? Oh, if you like skip the gym one day, like don't just go like off on yourself and be like, oh my God, like, you know, I skipped a day. Like I'm failing myself and I'm never going to get back on track. It's like, dude, it's one fucking day. Like get over yourself and go the next day. Like people have rest days and also like you're never gonna build a routine if you're just constantly hard on yourself. You need to be like, it's fine, it's okay. Um, like I feel like when I was trying to build my routines, just trying to think of like, oh, you know what? Honestly, getting up really early in the morning and going for walks, like I did that consistently for like the longest time and it was the best routine. But trust me, I had days where I was like, this is actually the worst and I don't wanna wake up and I didn't and like, it's fine. Sometimes your body just needs the extra rest or like, you just start again tomorrow, you know? Yeah, I just feel like building a routine and being really hard on yourself when you don't live up to like your expectations. Like, don't get me wrong, there's definitely a fine line between being like, yeah, like between being lazy and like not sticking to your routine and then also not being lazy and like being really hard on yourself and being like too hard on yourself, you know, like there's a line that you like really don't want to cross. Like It's like, yeah, but just grant yourself some grace. Like, fuck, it's not easy to like build a whole new routine. And obviously your body and just your mind is going to be like, what is going on? And I can't do this. But you need to like push past that point and be like, no, like, I actually like go back to step number two, which is writing a list of things that you actually want in your routine and be like, okay, what makes sense to me? Like drinking more water is 
great for you. Like, honestly, it's great for your skin. It's great for everything else. So like, think of the benefits of like what you're doing and stick to it. You know, if it's something that you really want, like nobody else is going to do it for you. Like nobody's going to go to the gym for you. Nobody's going to drink more fucking water for you. Like it's literally up to you. So you just really have to decide like what you actually want and like, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just show you what's happening in the other side of the room. <laughs> it's a Christmas tree. <laughs> it actually looks cute. <laughs> oh my god, I think the noodles are done. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um subscribe like comment and definitely subscribe we are growing like our youtube channel is doing so well you guys i'm so happy about it um it's just been such a fucking grind but like i feel like we're almost lost when we don't have a youtube video to film or edit we're both like what do we do now like what this is like we just love doing this um but anyways like comment subscribe uh i will see you guys in a couple days Love you. Bye, guys. <laughs>